Welcome back to the channel. Another hit. Don't miss. Come on now. Come on now. It's part two. It's part two of the of the uh of the non-toxic thing. And I wanted to make an intro to it because you're kind of just jumping right in pretty much from where I left off in there. Um but this is Lizzie. You should go check out our podcast too. Our podcast was pretty good. It's uh it's a pretty long one too. There's we got into the, what did we talk about? Question, so the better question is, is what did we, did we not talk about? Exactly. Probably. I was going to say so the, much. We really were random. That's probably the better know. question. Hell yeah. So if you're following me, man, and you're trying to think, if you're thinking about doing a better, more non-toxic lifestyle, Lizzie has also changed some stuff too in her life that she's been enjoying so far. And I just think everyone can benefit from this. Like everybody, literally anybody. It's just small stuff that is causing you daily issues, problems, or something wrong with your stomach, something wrong with your head, something wrong. And in America, believe me, trust me, there's something wrong with you, at least one thing. But y'all head on in. Y'all enjoy. <laughs> you need certain types of carbs and stuff like that. My thing is, is that whatever type of diet you have, yeet it out the window. Yeet it out the window. Yeet it out the window. Does it work? Maybe. Your diet might actually be working. But if you eat everything you've been eating, but just change the ingredients. There's no such thing as bad food. Make there's it just organic. bad. In, there's just there's just bad ingredients. That's mm. all there is to it. Make when it you're, fresh and make yeah, it organic. When you're making your pizza at home, go find either make bread at home, which is what water, yeast, and flour. I believe so. Yeah. Three or four ingredients. Go look at the bread at the store that you used to buy. Why does it have 30 ingredients in it? Mm -hmm. One of you tell me right now, what is Xanthax gum? What is dextrose that is in all of your stuff? What is yellow five, blue six? But just to continue and to make sure we get back on to just showing you what we changed. Um, so as far as, uh, as far as like milk went, um, I, I, I started drinking goat milk, um, which kind of works with my stomach because I found out, um, well, I am, well, I'm lactose intolerant, but I found out that my intolerance is more towards, uh, pasteurized milk. And if I'm able to take in raw milk, like raw dairy, um, it actually works really, really well. And the, um, there's a video, um, I'm a, I'm gonna probably put a couple of people in the bottom, a couple of doctors and stuff that I follow that y'all can follow to start kind of slowly start y'all's journey. But Dr. Paul, um, he was talking about before how the whole raw dairy thing stopped because of like one incident. It was like one incident in one farm. They were very unsanitary at the farm. So, you know, uh, so, I mean, there, I mean, if you, you got to think about it, an unsanitary farm. Yeah. I mean, there could be shit, pee, mosquitoes, bugs, all in the milk and everything. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They're, you know, any and every, every, everything could have been wrong with it. But there's actually videos of Erling Holland. Erling Holland is one of the best strikers on the planet. He plays soccer. Think about how fit those people have to be and think about everything he has to do. And he actually was walking to practice with a raw dairy jar, like, in his hand. Like, in his hand. And that same stuff... Our doctors here in America will tell you to never do it, ever do it. They'll tell you to never do it. So one thing you can go in there and, and do with your kitchen, the first, first, first thing you do with your kitchen is just minimize ingredients. That's the first thing you do. That's the very, very first thing you do. And if you, if you are thinking about, like, switching to this kind of lifestyle, you know, making your health better and that sort of thing, <clears throat> I definitely don't do set, it all at once. Set goals. Yeah, set don't goals. do a few things at a time. This would be extremely overwhelming. Like we definitely probably. I mean, some, even now we're still changing things. Like I know said, that there's know? some of you. Some mo there's probably most of you out there who's kind of just listening, kind of just going on. But there's some of you who's probably really locked in right now and probably trying to change some stuff, one day at a time. Yeah. One day at a time for sure. And we still, I mean, you know, we still have. Our days where we eat out or, yeah. you know, we drink because, a soda. Because we are, we are, um, we, and that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand is that like we promote this life and we should, we're going to tell you, you should be pushing towards it. I'm not saying that you have to do it. 
we're I mean like we live we're we're in Joe Biden's economy just like the rest of y'all are. It sucks. Yeah. It's terrible. And Some they make days eating you, healthy and organic very very hard to obtain. It's very expensive. Very, very hard to obtain. We got to drive damn near 20 30 minutes just to do it. Yeah. Um re and then so really So if we need a quick dinner, I mean the only thing we have is McDonald's and Yeah. Yeah. Things facts. like that. We don't have a, anything fresh. Yeah. At our reach. Yep. And um so and then with the kitchen, a couple of things to change, a couple of things to make dramatic changes. And it's just the really simple, it's the really, really obvious stuff. Your sodas, here's here was my this was my replacement smoothies and juices. Ravon is really good. Like I don't really ever see him drink a soda ever. That's what I that 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 I'm was I'm not my... as good about it. Every now and then I just I need a Dr Pepper. Like I just feel like I just <laughs> need it, you know. Hey, look. <laughs> um but yeah, no. Your sodas, juices. Like I wouldn't the same way when my baby walks in the room and she grabs something and throws it. She's like 9 months, dog. Like I'm not going to smack her on the hand and tell her not to throw it. I'm going to grab it. And give her something else to throw. Or either take her outside so we can throw something. You see what I'm saying? So don't just take something out of your kitchen. Put something else back in there. You know what I'm saying? Get you some natural smoothies that you might like. Get you some juices that you might like. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with those things. Um, uh, and my biggest struggle defi is definitely like sugar in my coffee. Yeah. I can do, I can go like a few days, a few weeks without sugar, but then I'll get on this kick where I'm like, mm, I just I want some sugar in my coffee. And, and I'm so glad you said that because I know a lot of people out there are feeling you right now. It's addictive. It is. And there's it's no way you're telling addictive. me it's not. There's no way you're telling me it's not. Because as soon as I eat a cookie, you need oh, more. it's completely down. Yeah. Oh, it's completely downhill. There's never, there's never one cookie. No. There's never one. You know what I'm saying? And that's we st how we still have our weekly ice cream from Dairy Queen. Like, don't don't think we're just like perfect and like this is the, the yeah, thing no, you my, have to do. Because my but dream also eliminating it as often as possible. It doesn't hurt to just have that yeah little bit. Like we're know? talking about set goals. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to like work in like getting to some community Facebook pages. Um, just to see if like there is some organic people or some stuff around here. I I do know about uh Palmer's farm. Palmer's farm that like they, they sell really, really I haven't been to his farm to ask him like like how his animals and stuff are being raised and everything. I'm pretty sure he would probably love to do that. But um he sells like a butcher's box, which is like it was like ninety nine dollars. It was enough meat to feed a family for about six to seven months. So if you're, you know, just in case you're thinking about doing some shit today. But like I said, one day at a time, one step at a time, minimize the ingredients in your kitchen. And one, one Two, of the easiest the, uh, the things. The next thing, medicine. Go wait, ahead. wait, wait. One of the easiest things with your kitchen where you really don't have to put as much thought into it is shopping at Aldi's. Um, especially if you're doing dyes. Like, let's kind of talk about the dyes real quick. The behavioral issues or the behavioral, I wouldn't say issues. She doesn't have issues. She's a very good kid. She always has been. But the changes in Remy's behavior by just cutting out dyes, I mean, just processed and dyes. None of y'all, none of y'all finna look me in my face and tell me every parent out there right now ain't in the bed dog shit tired. The reason they're dog shit tired is because their kids that they're talking about are actually Tasmanian devils. You can't cut them off. And then as soon as you tell them something, they spaz. They cry. They're yelling. Uh, like uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, a presidential candidate. Um, God, I hope, he, I hope he's in there after, uh, probably after this next election. I hope he uh, really gets a good go at it. He's talking about now how more kids have more autoimmune uh, issues than like ever before. Autoimmune, chronic issues. I mean, there um, was like no ADHD or ADD until 1970s. Yeah, until like, like the 70s or something like that. 1970s or 80s when our food changed. Yeah, when, when, when high fructose corn syrup became a thing and they stopped and they told you, stop eating red meat. Shut up. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? 
and Can't all of these one. kids, all of these kids, all of a sudden nowadays talking about, oh, I'm depressed. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. You know what? They're probably not lying. They wake up in the morning. They don't eat a real breakfast. They only eat cereal. Cereal is the worst way to start your morning. Then they sneak out. They they can't wait to leave mom's house. Then they hit the nick, and then they go. Then they go to school. <laughs> then the they're nicotine. eating. Then they're eating hot Cheetos at eight thirty in the morning. I I damn sure be I damn sure be crying about a female too. Look at what you're eating. What are you talking about? Your body is always in a state of like, oh my god. Because you're never just giving fighting. it's in you, fight mode. It, you're never giving it what it wants. Not fight mode, but flight. Never mode. giving it what it needs, and the behavioral problems like they like they say like the terrible twos come around, and don't get me wrong, the transition between that two, I do see what they're talking about because you're working on like communication. Your kid kind of sort of just started talking. They're starting to understand like, oh, okay, throwing that at somebody's face is hurting their face too and but it's now, not just making now, me what laugh they, what are they eating at two years old now exactly snacks exactly lots of snacks doritos full of you know red 40 and blue doritos and and cereal even hell, hell even power raids power raids suck juices power raids suck like everything if you if you need an electrolyte if you need an electrolyte drink i would recommend a totally different brand but power rays because almost Rays, every Gatorades, every parent's stroke. like in the first year of life oh broccoli and chicken and all these healthy foods and then you hit two and it's just like all right now they need they need snacks like they're hungry all day so here's some snacks yeah here's some snacks yeah no your your child isn't your child isn't going to be hungry if you give them something satiating Please look up the word if you don't, I don't know, know what I'm Remy talking eats about. A lot and she eats a lot of chicken and steak and she's still yeah. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, yeah, I'm yeah, hungry. Yeah. She this is this is a kid, this is a kid in the middle, this is a kid in the middle of growing. And I just love when in my house, in my house, Remy will ask for a snack and my mom will, and, and her mom will say, Hey, yeah, you can go in there and have an orange. She goes, Yes. yes. She loves an orange. She goes, Yes. These kids love it. They they love it. Jesus had already then put it out there for you. You don't need to throw nothing in together in a in a in a, in a lab to make starburst. What is a starburst? Exactly. Like what is that? Like what does that consist of? You know what I'm saying? Like now that you think about it, like shit. You, you, exactly. It's nothing. Nothing about what you just like when you're hungry. Your stomach's asking not only to be full but be full of something. You have you 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 have diarrhea, you have um, you got you got diarrhea randomly. Your bathroom breaks are always terrible. You have headaches. You have autoimmune issues. All of this stuff, all of that stuff can be changed. From eczema, you had eczema. I literally just got done talking to a girl the other day who has eczema and psoriasis. Pretty damn bad. I told her to change some stuff. You were talking to a girl. She uh. <laughs> So I told her to change some stuff. She's already seen. She's like literally already seeing different results. I had another girl the other day who I told her I was like, mm, "Don't really fool with birth control." No, that's. Mm. I'm like, I'm, even, not, I'm not really a fan. Don't of, even get me started on birth control. Yeah, oh I'm not God. really a fan. I'm not really a fan of birth control. And she was, and then she was just like wondering. She was like, "Well, I." She was like, "Well, I use it for my period." And she was like, "What do you mean, though?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm yeah, like, well, listen, you, you, they gave period. you. I'm like, hey, they gave you a pill for your period, but they didn't tell you why your period was the way it was." Start asking more questions, people. The doctor gonna tell you this is this is this is ninety five percent of the time. The doctor's gonna tell you, "Oh man, you got cancer." Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh my god, pray for him, pray for him. lay head." Oh my god. Hey doc, quick question. How did I get cancer? You know what I'm saying? What what thing in my body failed to the point that I've developed it? Because I need to find out what failed and I need to feed it. Or if the thing beyond it failed and now it has failed. Like a car almost damn near. You know what I'm saying? My favorite my I don't know if you know that TikTok trend, but my favorite animal would be if I was told I had cancer. Literally nobody would see me. I would go off grid and I would literally live in the woods and eat nothing but like just high nutrients food, like no nothing. Like just no, everything nothing would extra. come from the ground. Because you gotta you gotta think. You gotta think. They make stuff and then they tell you, 
oh, this is a little bad. You have to have a lot of it for it to be bad. Well, nigga, you drink Coke every day. Don't say that. You know what I'm saying? Don't like say that word. Oh, my bad. Well, dog, you drink Coke every day. <laughs> that's, that's enough. Like she was just talking about with the coffee and the sugar, drinking the coffee. Your sugars, every day. The sugars are terrible. That's every like day. a number one thing for cancer is sugar. Cancer oh, thrives just, off of sugars. And just to come back to like what is actually done for our lives, just so I'm giving you, this is my, te- this is my testimony to you. I started taking a multivitamin, which was, which began to be CMOS. Um, I like to try, like I work at a smoke shop. So like, I like to try a lot of like our THC products and stuff like that. And so, like, I'll smoke a vape or, you know, something like that. But smoking anything, for me, um, always bothers you'll my nose. You'll smoke a vape or you'll, like, try a vape? Like, you'll just hit it. Like, you don't actually smoke Oh, well, smoke yeah. Vape. I was about to say, yeah. I don't. Well, I'm I'm talking about, like, Delta 8 vapes and stuff like that. I don't smoke oh, okay, nicotine. Okay, okay. I don't smoke nicotine no more. Um, so, like, I'll hit one of those. And, like, even smoking of anything always would, you know, it, it, it also added on to the stuffiness God, of the nose. It was, it was terrible. Oh, he was the worst. <laughs> and I started taking a multivitamin in the morning called CMOS. CMOS was also said that it was going to help my, um, help my mucus development. Help break it down so that it never built up. And I was like, hmm, let me see how true that is. Got the sea moss. I got a guy for you too. I got a guy for you who got the sea moss more for you, by the way. Um, I started taking the sea moss in the morning. Literally the next day, I took when the day I got it, I took a scoop. It was about six in the afternoon. Woke up the next morning, took the scoop in the morning, got to work. I got to work. And when I tell you I was working in the kitchen that day and I had to stop working in the kitchen because every time I stepped to the side to go like it kept making me do a light cough as if like I like it sounded like I had something. Right. So people were like, you you know, especially during especially during COVID time, niggas like this. As soon as you call niggas like this. I get so mad every time I cough because every time I cough now, I swear it's like a new thing. Everybody just. Yeah, it's, I hate coughing in public. It's like embarrassing. It's like everybody's just staring at like you. Like you can control if you're sick or not. I'm which saying. you can, but. I mean, like, but I mean, part. and then like some, and you know, like some people, I do understand what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to stay away from them or something like that. But God, at least the staring is crazy. But, um, but every time I went like this, I would go. <clears throat> Were you like coughing up like in the end like black and stuff too? I was coughing and like every this, t- every yeah, I time I went like oh, literally mucus was flying out of my mouth on the ground. It was flying on the floor and I was like, "Oh my god." It's like this is this stuff will bring up like years. Like you don't understand if you smoke anything. I mean anything from cigarettes or to, you know, anything. Yeah, and I was smoking blacks and stuff too. Yeah, it's going to bring up like years of worth of mucus that is just stored in your and body then, yeah like jazzy was talking about i get until probably the end of week one oh i'm coughing up brown stuff i'm coughing up mucus that Ooh. had to have been in there for decades yeah it doesn't I'm coughing really up leave mucus your body. with dry blood and, and stuff like that too and i'm so glad that i added it in um it's like that is one thing i can vouch for i will say over and over again he was terrible he was the worst about just the stuffiness and the, the mucus, and it would, yeah, you, it was like, it would drive me crazy, just like, I just want to be like, shut up, just shut right, up. Right, yeah, because I was always doing it. I was always sitting there, <laughs> doing that like the All like the, the whole time, four seven, even in his sleep. Yeah, because I like, be and, over then, there. <laughs> and then like I had, and I knew I had to do something because we were about to have the baby, and um. Um, I was having trouble sleeping because of my stuffy nose. And I was like, there's no way I can have trouble sleeping oh, already goodness. before the baby comes. Because how am I going to sleep if I'm already sleeping bad and the baby's not even here yet? You know what I'm saying? And that baby don't sleep. And started taking the moss, and that didn't. So one thing I can say, this is a note for multivitamins. Don't go buy the ones at the store. Mm-mm. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why, though. The ones at the store usually are the gummies and stuff like that. And just like we talked about before, um, you got to check the ingredients on the gummies, man. There's gelatin, 
gelatin basically don't get old. So what makes you think gelatin's good for you when every, literally everything you eat gets old? Um, so eat, uh, eating the gummies and stuff isn't really the greatest thing because there are certain types of vitamins. If your vitamin says um, it's got 20 vitamins in it, right, and it's in this gummy form, you might not absorb vitamin A from this gummy because of the type of vitamin A that they put in it. But it's if you go get also, your, but if you go make sure you get your vitamin A from a fruit, uh, a meat, or something like that that actually has that density of that vitamin A, you'll have a better chance of absorbing it. Yeah. But now, obviously, if you now obviously if you go get a multivitamin that's literally only B12, like it's only B12. You're going to get some B12 from it, but there's always a better way for you to actually absorb it. And I'm going to also put, well, the CMOS thing, y'all just hit me up. I'm, I'm not really hard to find type deal. Um, but I'm also, and Dr. Paul's thing that I'm going to put under here, he also has multivitamins for you to start your day off with too. Uh, my favorite one was the beef organs one. Yeah. But if you're an athlete, I would try the warrior one. The warrior one seems nice has a small little bit of like creatine in it too and everything in there it can be absorbed because it's from uh actual grass uh grass fed grass finished as well too uh beef from cows that get to go across beautiful pastures all day in New Zealand but go ahead I'll also say like if you can afford it or like you have the opportunity to the first thing you should do when making this lifestyle switch is getting your hormones tested and seeing what you need and what you don't need. Oh, man, if you got the money for that, yeah. And I that. will say, like, the number one thing. We haven't done it yet, but you got the money for that? Oh, my gosh, do that. Yeah. Please do the that. The number one thing that everybody from babies the age of Isla, you know, nine months and up that you need, almost every single person, is magnesium. But if for some reason you're just you're eating something or drinking something that's really giving you all that magnesium, you really don't want to take a magnesium supplement because you're getting too much then and it's not going to you like you were saying you know it's not going to react it's not going to help you the way it needs to like for me and having a baby they say it takes two more two month two years for your hormones to get right um so like I'm just holding all this fat like you know in my face and in my belly in certain areas and so I'm trying to like lower my cortisol. So I've started taking magnesium and ashwagandha and L-theanine. Um, Which she's bad at taking. Yeah, I'm very, I am suck at routines. Um, and I also need, I've done really good the past few days. Like I've already taken my, I haven't taken my magnesium. I need to take that. <laughs> um, but I also need like vitamin D3. But like I know from the extensive amount of research I've done over the past few months, I know I need that stuff for sure. Like, with the way that my brain and everything is, like, I know. But if you have the opportunity, get tested. See what you need. See what you don't need. And I promise you, your life is going to change. 100%. Oh, yeah. Your health, anyways. Well, guys, um, I don't even know how long we've been on, but um, I guess we'll... Um, I know I can talk about this all day. Yeah, I know. I guess that's why That's why I'm now I'm thinking about, I guess we'll wrap it up, because yeah. I, don't, I don't even know where we are, I guess... So let's just but, say, um, like, number for, number one thing you need to do, uh -huh. get tested, you know, for your hormones or whatever. Um, number two. If you, number, the, that's, that's number one if you have the money. Yeah. So then the next step, if you have to skip that or not, um, you know, just shopping at Aldi so it's not as much thinking. Um, and, you know, people are like, well, the you need the brand name, the brand name Ranch, the brand name Mayo. Just try it. It's so, it's. A dollar to two dollars cheaper than the brand name at Aldi's. Try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You can try something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, we've no, we're not. Like yeah, we're not everything. telling you. We're not telling you that like anything. But see, and the thing about it is, really, I think the forever goal is to really get us back to being completely organic and you making everything at home instead of trusting the government to make it for you. <clears throat> but, like she said. Shop at Aldi's, um, it's just any, an whole, easy kind any of no whole food brain. market, whole mm -hmm. food Trader Joe's, market. Whole Foods, Fresh Market. Um, it's just less thinking and having less reading the back of the ingredients. Whereas yeah. you go to Walmart, you're going to be because, presented but, with five different things. Yeah. And 
four out of those five things are probably because don't not go good. to the store trying to look at everything. Then that's a bad idea. Yeah, you're gonna stress yourself. You're gonna, out. You're gonna stress yourself and out. Like, well, you're I'm gonna just gonna get. There. I'm gonna get this ranch because I know you're gonna be there all day and you're gonna be sitting there judging yourself and uh, you know, um, this is just this is and, and I really hope I really hope the only people who click on this video are the people who are serious about doing it. Um, like I said, do not take everything we say as truth. Please don't. Do um, that's what my number three pretend, is. Do your own research. Pretend like I lied. Pretend like we lied about every single thing and you're going to go find out what we lied about. Go find out, please. Just do your just go. type TikTok. <laughs> go. Google don't really use Google. They're gonna tell you that. We're so wrong. <laughs> Google ain't the Google ain't the worst, but Google you can also Google you can pay to be number one on the list of literally any question. Like when you type in like for hold on, I mean I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a prime example right now actually. I'm gonna go to Google, and I am going to type the letter S. When I type in the letter S, the first thing that pops up is a company. You can't see this, but it's Sheen. It's S H um, E I N. And then Samsung. Mind you, and then mind Subway. you, I've never shopped on Sheen. You haven't. No. Never, ever. I do. It's a company. <laughs> How did a company get right there? They paid for it, you jackasses. They paid for it. You can pay to be moved up and for everything. But like I said, when you're clicking on your articles, when you're reading your articles, who paid for it? Me and you both know you don't really trust your government. So if it was from the government, you know, just look at it one more time, one more time, one more time. But uh, yes. But other than that, we made this video because we love y'all and... There are a bunch of people who and are going to watch no, this. Literally, no judgment. I don't judge anybody for the lifestyle they live. You know, a lot of our friends, a lot of our family. Yeah, don't get life don't get to the point. Yeah, way don't than get us. to the point where you're judging people. Don't get to that point though. Anytime you start doing anything better in your life, you will start to do this little number. Mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's going to be a problem. Literally, every single time you do anything better in your life, is you're going to start doing better. And you're going to start looking back at me like, why are you even doing this? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not where you're at. It's okay. I'm always, Everybody's with not my where friends and my family, I'm always going to put my input and my opinion. But I'm always going to say, you know, it's your life. It's what you want to do. You grown. I want you to be happy and I want you to be healthy and I want you to live a long lifetime. But when you see In Jesus, end, don't, tell him, you. Don't, don't tell him I didn't tell you about it. <laughs> don't, don't say that, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When when y'all gotta see Jesus now, don't don't say I didn't tell you about him. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. Also do that too. Religion so, yeah. religion might have pissed you off, but Jesus loves you. So, but yeah. So, anyways, wrapping it up, testing a whole food organic store, and then just make your next um just make your next shopping session um be your changes, you know. Oh, and then like don't don't go in there and just throw away your Colgate right now. Throw, throw it away. I mean, if you got the money for it. But if you don't got the money for it, just no, use your Colgate we definitely and then used, eat it. We used up everything before we switched. So, like, a body wash. See, we had the money we for it. We ain't, got the money. we ain't got the money. To be, we ain't had the money to be no. throwing that away. So, if you ain't got the money, just be going in there, listening to what we talking about, just throwing away your dial. So, nigga, don't throw oh, away your dial. That's what I didn't say. Yeah, too. So, like, to clean my house, I use three products for everything. Vinegar, baking soda, and Doctors Bronner's, um, oh, what's it called? I can't think of what it's called right now, but it's like a Doctor Bronner's product that is literally has like twenty different ways that you can use it: mop your floors, clean your toilet, Tardy clean your deal. sink, clean your counters, literally everything. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this is kind of everywhere. Stop it. <laughs> but yes. Um, um We love you. We're not we judging you. you at all. Yeah, yeah. At all. And it, it a lot of people judge us and they think go we're back. crazy and Yeah. But go back and take notes. Um Usually when people think you're crazy, you're usually in the right spot. Um mm-hmm. Jesus didn't if you believe in Jesus as well as I do, he didn't call you to be like everybody else in the first place. So you're you should definitely seem crazy. But love y'all. Stay away from drugs. Just do the job. What? How <laughs> my ears are killed. 
So, if you've made it this far, I just want to say, well, me and Josh just want to say thank. Thank you. All right. Okay, okay, you ready? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ready, 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 ready. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, we're glad you reached the end, guys. Uh, me and Josh just want to say thank you for watching the podcast. Have a great night.